Hi everyone, today I'm going to talk about Coroplet maps. Let me show you an example. Here on the left, you can see an example of a Coroplet or fillet map that uses divergent color schema where colors are changing from blue via yellow to red. Uh, and these colors uh, are used to fill different shapes. In this example, it's a United States. Uh, United States state. Uh, what is wrong with this visualization? Well, there are two problems. First of all, it uses divergent color schema for the data that is not divergent by its nature. Let me explain. Uh, here on the geographical map, we use divergent color schema to display two opposite things, such as oceans and uh, continents. So, shades of blue color used to display depth of ocean, and other colors are used to display height of the continent. But uh, in our gasoline text map, the data is not diverging. Uh, gasoline text is changing from uh, a bit above zero to above 60 cents per gallon, but no one, uh, no state is going to pay you for using gasoline. So there is no such thing as a negative gasoline tax. But we, for some reason, use it a uh, divergent color schema, and it's just not helpful here. It adds too many colors uh, to our map and uh, it's rather confusing and uh, it's uh, harder to see any patterns on this map. Another problem is that this map is based on geographical shapes of our states and geographical uh, sizes of the states. And uh, Texas, for example, and California are much larger states than any other state. And uh, at the same time, there are a lot of small states on the northeast of the United States. There are such states as uh, New Hampshire, Massachusetts, uh, Connecticut, New York, New Jersey, Delaware, Maryland, Rhode Island. And they are really small and uh, it's not uh, easy to see what uh, state uh, is uh, filled with what color. And uh, another thing is that large areas such as Red California, they just attract more of our attention. And we think that something more important is happening in this, uh, in this uh, large state such as Texas and California. But in fact, there is no any significant difference in gasoline tax between uh, Texas and uh, New Hampshire and Delaware. So we need to solve these two problems. And uh, as you can see on the right, I use it a cartogram that uses uh, hexagon, uh, hexagons uh, of the same size uh, to display every state. And uh, also this uh, cartogram uses uh, a different color schema, just different shades of the orange color. And I believe that the cartogram is uh, allows uh, much easier to see some uh, patterns. Uh, we can see states with lower gasoline tax. We can see states with higher gasoline tax. So I believe the visual on the right uh, works much better for this kind of data. Is it perfect? No, it's not perfect solution because uh, while for the United States it works relatively well, uh, again, uh, the smaller states on the northeast, uh, it's maybe a little bit harder to realize that uh, their positions are not necessarily reproduce the actual positions on the real map. But uh, it works relatively well for United States. For many countries, including some European countries, it probably won't work well because uh, a territory can have just one neighbor, an enclave will have just one neighbor, or a territory can have, let's say, a dozen of neighbors. But uh, 
hexagon always have uh, just uh, six neighbors so depends of how many neighbors uh, each uh, territory have and depends of the size of each territory the final result may be really distorted and uh, confusing for a person that knows that used to see a real world uh, physical boundaries uh, of uh, the territories so again uh, you need to analyze your data you need to to see what existing uh, shape uh, shapes exist uh, for a cartogram uh, for for your country uh, Sometimes it's hexagon, sometimes it's uh, squares, sometimes you can try even triangles. If there is no existing uh, cartogram uh, shapes uh, for your country, you probably will want to create, to try to create your own shapes and to see if it works for your country or your region that you are trying to visualize. But again, there is no perfect solution and you need to understand analyze every case uh, but uh, for sure uh, divergent color schema is not the best color schema for not divergent data and for sure uh, geographical boundaries uh, can really distort uh, your data and uh, it probably in some cases better just to use uh, a bar chart instead of a map uh, you not necessarily need a map to visualize your data. So again, you need to understand what you are trying to highlight in your visuals and understand what will work better in each specific case. Let me also tell a few words about how I created this visualization. So the map on the left is just a core shape map visual in Power BI and uh, for the map on the right, I use it uh, a bit different uh, solution. So it's a custom visual called Icon Map Visual. I highly recommend uh, Icon Map Visual whenever you need a map in Power BI. It allows to combine different kinds of map with different uh, shapes, such as points, lines, images, uh, custom shapes. Uh, you can uh, combine a lot of different shapes on the same map and the icon map visual has a lot of uh, formatting settings you can uh, choose a fill color for a shape you can choose outline color for a shape you can uh, edit any you can edit many other parameters of your visualization so i highly recommend this visual but uh, there is no perfect solution so to create a, a legend for my visual, I needed to use one more visual and I use it a core uh, visual such as just a table. I often use tables and matrix for custom legend, especially for map visualizations because uh, it's really easy to use a map to display, like in this case, different uh, ranges of a text is uh, where each cell of a table is uh, filled with different color let me show what is behind this uh, table there is a dax uh, calculated table and uh, you can ignore as it's b and a sections i just use the same data table for different uh, visualizations but uh, I filtered out this B and A sections for what I was talking about before. I just used this uh, C variant of the data. And you see that my legend uh, displays just uh, what I have in label column. 20 to 30, 30 to 40, and so on uh, ranges. And it uses the color from... Uh, color column to fill the cell of the table. 
also a measure is that uh, assigns a color to each hexagon is also uses this the same table to look up for a color that uh, has to be used to fill the shape for example if uh, a text is uh, 25 then uh, a measure looks for a range with uh, from value 20 and to value 30 because 20 is uh, lower than 25 and 30 is uh, bigger than uh, 25 and then it uses corresponding color to fill the shape so again the same uh, table is used to create a legend and using a table uh, visual and is used to assign uh, field colors to the shapes in icon map visual this was an example of how you can uh, use uh, a cartogram and uh, how you can improve uh, fillet map or a coroplet map by replacing it with a cartogram and uh, how you can uh, use better color schema for non-divergent data in the next video i'm going to talk about uh, a cartogram a similar cartogram again but it will be used in combination with a bar chart and this combination of a cartogram and bar chart will be used to replace a map with a lot of small pie chart uh, displayed as a map uh, you can watch my previous videos uh, where i already explain it uh, what is wrong with pie charts, when pie charts are good. And uh, you can subscribe to my channel to watch uh, the following videos and uh, click a like button uh, if you think this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and uh, see you again.